the snowy mountains, southern New South Wales. At more than 2,000 metres, you just can't get any higher on our ancient eroded stub of an island continent. It's really beautiful up here. In fact, there's no other alpine landscape in the world quite like it. The gnarled snow gums and the occasional parrot had a particularly Australian feel. Down the slopes in that direction, there are people on skis using gravity to turn their mass into adrenaline and broken bones. But it's far more than a, a playground for skiers, let alone a training ground for paramedics. For many of us, this is a powerhouse. And that's because I'm standing on what amounts to a vast reservoir of frozen potential energy. And that potential is soon to be realized as the spring thaw moves in and the liberated water courses downhill. Snow's always been a bit of a novelty for me. But where I see weird white stuff, 60 years ago, others saw a great natural resource to harness. The Snowy Hydro Scheme, our largest engineering project, turned water into watts. But it did more than that. It irrigated thousands of farms, helping them to resist drought in this parched continent. Two voracious appetites for food and power, one audacious solution. But more than half a century on, our population has almost trebled and our needs are greater than ever. We demand so much of the natural world to feed our hungry lives. And yet, all too often, we take for granted even the simple things, like the flick of a light switch. And oh, how monstrously inconvenient when the system lets us down. But when you realize what's actually involved, hopefully, you won't look at your morning toast in quite the same way again. <laughs>